This dashboard is packed with features to make running your business easier. When you open the template, the first thing you'll see is the beautiful and functional homepage. This is the hub for everything. It brings together all the key sections of the template and gives you a clear visualization of your business performance at a glance. Every section on this homepage is a linked database, so you can easily drill down into more details. If you want to see a specific area like finances, clients, or products, you can use the navigation bar at the top to jump straight to the page. Let's start by exploring the business hub section. This section is where you find all the essential subpages like business setup, goals, product catalog, brand strategy, and resources. Let's break it down. Starting a small business can feel overwhelming, but this section helps you stay on track. It's a checklist of key tasks organized into stages from preparation and planning to operation and management. Each task has guiding questions to help you move forward. You can edit the existing pages or create new ones to feed your needs. Here's where you set clear and achievable goals for your business. Start by clicking the new page button, then add details like the goal name, goal area, start date, and due date. Once that's done, break the goal into smaller actionable steps. As you complete each step, you can check it off and the progress bar will update automatically. It's a simple yet effective way to track your progress. This section is your go-to place for managing inventory and services. Start Start by creating project or service categories to keep things organized. You can use a table view or gallery view, whichever you prefer. Add the category name and select whether it's a product or a service. Once the categories are set, list your products. Add details like color, size, price, and cost of goods sold, plus available stock. The template will automatically calculate details like sold units, remaining stock, stock level, and revenue based on actual sales entered in the sales record section, which we'll cover later. Use the different views like low stock, out of stock, by category, or by status to track inventory easily. If you offer services like custom products, workshops, or consultancy, manage them here. Add the service name, category, package price, and store. Its service entry comes with a pre-designed template to add more details about what you're offering. Organize your business vision, mission, target audience, and brand personality all in one place. Then save important business documents, templates, and email draft here. It's a great way to stay organized and spend less time checking through your inbox. Next up is the productivity section. Here you'll find subpages like task, internal projects, planner, learning, and brain dump. The first stop in productivity is task. This is your to-do list for everything you need to get done. To add a new task, click the plus new button, enter your task, and fill in the details. You can even link a task to specific projects like client work or content. The best part, once a task is linked, it will automatically appear in those related sections. This helps you stay organized and see how each task fits into the bigger picture, whether it's a campaign for a client, an internal project, or your content strategy. Like all the database in the template, tags comes with different database views you can explore. Next is internal projects. You can plan and manage your in-house projects. To add a project, click the plus new button, give your project a name, and fill in the details. The progress bar here is directly linked to the task section. As you check off tasks related to a project, the progress bar updates automatically, making it easy to track how close you are to completion. This keeps your project organized and helps you stay on top of your deadlines. The planner section is perfect for mapping out your weekly or monthly schedule. To plan your week, hover over the couch in the weekly planner, click the pen icon, and start filling out your daily priorities and to-dos. It's a great way to stay focused and productive throughout the week. 
Below the weekly planner, there's also a space to schedule appointments, client meetings, deadlines, or any important reminders to make sure you never miss a thing. Adding events is super simple. Click the plus new button, type in the details, and choose the event type. If you want to make it a little more fun, you can add emojis in Notion by typing a column, followed by a keyword like laptop, and pick your favorite emoji to personalize your events. The marketing section is where you'll find everything you need to plan and execute your marketing strategies. It covers social media planning, email marketing, advertising, and promotions, all organized to help you streamline your efforts and reach your audience effectively. Let's start with the social media. This dashboard includes a comprehensive social media planner to help you organize your content and strategy. Begin by selecting the platforms you use in the platforms section. The main Main social media platforms are already listed, just mark the ones you actively use by checking the active checkbox. You can also add new platforms by clicking the plus new button. Once your platforms are set, you can add details like your posting times and platform URLs for quick access. Below that, you can create your content pillar strategy to guide your content planning and list relevant hashtags to use across your post. Now onto the content calendar, where you can plan your actual post. This section comes with pre-made templates tailored to each platform. To start planning, you have two options. Click the blue drop down a row to select a specific social media template, or click the plus new button in the database and choose the platform template you want to use. This setup keeps everything structured and ensures you never miss a posting deadline. Besides planning content, you can also track your social media metrics for its platform in the social analytics and audit section. Metrics like followers or subscribers, engagement, reads, and views can all be logged here. The current follower or subscriber account for its platform will automatically link back to your platform details, making it easy to monitor your growth and compare performance across platforms. For even deeper insights, there's a social media audit section. This is where you can analyze what's working and what isn't. So you can adjust your strategy to meet your goals more effectively. This template also includes dedicated sections for email marketing, advertising, and promotions. Having these areas neatly organized allows you to plan and schedule email campaign to stay connected with your audience and drive sales. The sales section is where you'll manage all things related to sales, including stores, sales record, sales performance, CRM, and client projects. This section keeps everything organized so you can focus on growing your business. In the store subpage, you can organize and manage all your stores, whether they're online store or physical locations. For online stores, you can even add links for quick access. This database is linked to the sales record, so it automatically calculates the total orders and revenue for its store. This way, you can easily see which store performs better, helping you make data-driven decisions. Next is the sales record, where you can track your sales by day, week, or month for its product service. To record a sale, click the plus new page button, select the date, choose the store, select the product from your catalog, enter the total orders for that product. The revenue will be calculated automatically based on the price you've set in the product catalog in the business hub. You can then view sales data by product, store, or even a calendar view for better insights. For service-based sales, there's a dedicated section at the bottom. Add a new page, select the date and store, choose the client for that service, select the service provided, input the amount charged. Unlike products, the amount here isn't auto-calculated because service prices can vary depending on the work done for its client. To streamline client management, I've included an inquiry form which uses Notion's new form feature. Here's how it works. Use the form to collect client information. All submissions are automatically stored in the inquiry database. To edit or modify the form, click the box and edit new question using the plus button. To share the form, click the blue share form button, copy the link and send it to your clients. Once a client submits the form, 
home, their information is stored in the database. From there, simply click Confirm Client to automatically add their details to the client database in the Client Management subpage. The Sales sections also include Sales Performance, a visual overview of your revenue, orders, and sale trends over time to track progress. Keep your client data organized in one place, making it easy to manage interactions and relationships. Track the progress and status of its client project in one neat and organized space. Next, let's move on to the finance section. This is where you can track and manage all things related to your business financials, including transactions, budgeting, bills, and subscriptions. It's a complete financial tracking system to help you keep everything organized and under control. Start by going to the account section where you can list all your business financial accounts, such as assets, like bank accounts, inventory, equipments, and liabilities such as credit cards and loans. You'll input the starting balance of its account here. For accounts that are liabilities, simply add a minus sign before the amount so the template can calculate your net worth. As you add transactions in the later sections, the current balance of its account will automatically update. This helps you keep track of your finances in real time. The budgeting section allows you to plan and manage your monthly business business finances, set a target income and expense budget for its month. The monthly actual will be automatically calculated based on the transaction you input. You can also change the currency by editing the property. Having this section is especially useful for small business owners who want to stay on top of their income and expenses to ensure they're operating within their budget. Now let's talk about transactions. Here you'll separate income and expense for clear tracking. Track all your sources of business income here, whether it's from product sales, services, or any other revenue streams. You can also track fees such as marketplace fees or affiliate fees charge your sales income, then select the account. Record all business-related expenses, including office supplies, software subscriptions, marketing costs, and more. For each expense, select a category, input the amount, and choose the payment method from your account database to keep every everything connected. By keeping detailed records of both your income and expenses, you can quickly analyze where your money is coming from and where it's going. There is also a section dedicated to tracking your bills and subscriptions. You can easily manage and track payments such as software, subscription, utility bills, or any other regular expenses that your business incurs. Finally, in the financial overview, you'll get a comprehensive view of your financial activities by month or year. The Overview is extremely useful for small business owners to access your financial health of your business. It helps you identify trends, plan for upcoming expenses, and make informed decisions about pricing, expansion, or investment opportunities. By keeping track of your financial data, you'll be better equipped to make strategic decisions that drive business growth. Now, let's check out some bonus features that add extra functionality and visual appeal to this Notion business dashboard. First up, we have the chart feature. These charts in this dashboard help you visualize key business metrics such as monthly sales revenue, monthly orders, sales revenue by product, and sales by store. These charts provide a clear overview of your business performance, making it easier to spot trends and areas for improvement. If you're using the free version of Notion, there's a limit of only one chart per workspace. If you find multiple charts in this template, you can simply delete the extra ones and keep the one that's most important for you. Also, if you already have a chart in another template, you won't be able to add a new one in this template. The free version limits you to one chart per workspace, even across different templates. Next is the summary feature, which gives you a quick overview of your business stats. Here, you can see a snapshot of things like completed tasks, ongoing projects, product stock levels, social media performance, and more. This summary is perfect for getting a high level of view of your business without feeling overwhelmed. Then there's the quick add feature. This is a huge time saver, letting you add new pages without navigating through the whole template. Just hit the quick add button, fill in the essentials, and you're done. It's especially convenient when you're on the go or using Notion on a mobile device. 
So that's it for this Notion tour. I hope this video gives you a clear guide on how to use Notion to plan and organize your business. If you're interested in using this template, I'll link it in the description below. So feel free to check it out.